Hey guys, welcome to another overclocking tutorial. Today we are taking a look on how to overclock this Core i7-6700K which has a stock clock of 4GHz on an Asus Z170 Pro Gaming motherboard. Yeah, we will push the CPU to 4.5GHz and in case you have a Core i5-6600K you can just use exactly the same settings. So first of all, I entered this overview by pressing the delete key and now please hit F7 so we can go to the advanced mode. First of all, we can take a look on the CPU fan speed settings. Just go to monitor, scroll down to the Q fan control. And here you can see CPU fan profile. In case you have some temperature problems, you can set this maybe to turbo. You can gain a few degrees uh, by setting this option. All right, but uh, yeah, now we will start with the overclocking. Just go left to the AI tweaker and change the AI overclock tuner to XMP and select no. XMP will load the correct memory settings because you can see on the right side my memory is currently running at 2133 MHz but I have a memory kit which is actually rated at 3300 MHz. In case you don't have a XMP memory, just set this one to manual if you are missing the XMP options. Change this one to 100 or leave it at 100 if you already have 100 there. Now change CPU core ratio to sync all cores. This will force the CPU to stay at the same clock on all cores all the time. Change one core ratio limit to 45. Now you can already see the target CPU turbo mode frequency is set to 4500 MHz, which is exactly what we want. Scroll down and go to DigiPlus VRM. This is actually the menu where you can configure your VRMs of your motherboard. You can uh, change CPU load line calibration to level 5. Uh, yeah, you can click here on the right, you can click on my video. Uh, I explained there what the CPU load line calibration is in detail uh, if you're interested but uh, to keep it short the CPU load line calibration will just keep your CPU voltage stable during high load like a benchmark or prime 95. Now adjust CPU core cache current limit max to the maximum just type anything here and it will go to 255.5. This is the current limit of your CPU and if you hit the maximum it will make sure that your CPU will not uh, clock down during high load. You can leave those on 40, that's fine. And CPU core cache voltage, set this one to manual. You can see that my CPU has a stock voltage of around 1.264 volt and now we will, we will use 1.3 volt and in combination with 4500 MHz, this should work on almost all CPUs, let's say 95%. And it's a safe value to clock on air or water cooling. Yeah, in case you have some uh, memory issues or if you wanna clock higher on, on memory, you might have to increase those two uh, voltages, the CPU VCCIO or system agent. Um, yeah, normal voltages would be around 1.15 on both voltages in case you're uh, using some higher memory clocks. You can also see the DRAM voltage is set to 1.35 volt by the XMP profile as well, so that's already good. Yeah, okay, that's actually all the settings we need. Now we go to uh, tools and save the profile. Just type 4500 in here and maybe save it to profile 3. Now hit F10 and go to Windows and we will uh, test the settings. Okay, so we entered Windows now and to test the stability of your system you need three tools Core Temp, Prime95 and CPU-Z. First of all open CPU-Z. Yeah, by the way you can download those tools on my website. Uh, I put the links to the download in the description for you guys. So first of all open CPU-Z. Now you can already see we're running at uh, 1.3 volt which we set in a BIOS. You can see the clock going up and down here which is caused by the power saving options which we kept active and if you go to the memory you can see the memory is perfectly fine for me it's 1600 uh, one megahertz which is actually 3200 because of ddr which means double data rate yeah if you don't want to have um, the low clock in idle you can change that simply go to the power saving options choose a power plan and 
click high performance and you will see it will always stay at the maximum clock of 4500. Just in case you always want to have the maximum clock, you can just choose the high performance mode here. Okay, now uh, use Corp Temp to check the system temperature. Make sure your maximum CPU temperature is always below 90 degrees. Skylake is actually working well if you stay below 80, but um, below 80 degree, but below 90 uh, is the absolute maximum. Now use Prime95 to test the stability of your CPU. Check custom. Enter 1344 here and also here and click run FFTs in place. This is just the correct setting to test the CPU core. Now if you click OK, you can see the temperature is going up. You can also see that the core temperature is increasing a little bit to around 1.31, 1.33 volt, which is totally fine. Yeah, now just keep this test running for about one hour and then you can play some games. If everything is running stable and you stay below 90 degrees here, you're totally good and overclock your system to 4500 megahertz. If you have any kind of trouble, like a blue screen or anything, you might have to increase your core voltage, maybe to in the BIOS to 1.31, 1.32 volt. Uh, yeah, however, you have to check to stay belo below 90 degrees. If you already hit 90 degrees with this setting, you have to go back to the BIOS and lower the core voltage and maybe also lower the core speed to around uh, 4400 megahertz. Yeah, I hope uh, I hope I helped you with this tutorial. If you liked it, maybe give it a thumbs up and yeah, hit subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Bye.